scrape any website, turn it into a private knowledge base with Google's latest embedding model, store it all in a simple, fast vector database, and ask it complex questions using a powerful language model running right on your laptop. This entire process is 100% free, 100% private, and works completely offline. In this video, we are building the ultimate local RAG stack from scratch, step by step. Let's get started. So how is this possible without any APIs or cloud servers? It's all thanks to three incredible open source tools. For embeddings, we're using Embedding Gemma, Google's new, highly efficient model designed specifically for on device tasks. For the vector store, we're using SQLite VEC, which brilliantly adds powerful vector search capabilities to a simple SQLite database file. And for the brain, we're using Olama to run a powerful LLM like Quen3 right on our machine. All right, let's dive into the notebook. The full code is linked in the description. First, our standard imports, sklite 3 and sklite vec for the database, olama for the LM, sentence transformer for our embedding model, and some helpers for web scraping and file handling. Next, in our configuration cell, we define the key components. We're setting our embedding model to Google or embedding Gemma 3 Hans and M. Crucially, we're truncating the embeddings to 256 dimensions. The model supports this out of the box and it makes our process three times faster with minimal quality loss. We'll use the Quen3 4B model from Olama and name our database file. Now, the first step in any RAG system is getting data. I've defined a dictionary here with the official docs for all the tools we're using. We'll be scraping the Sklite Vec docs, a code demo, the Google and Hugging Face blogs for Embedding Gemma, the Olama page for Quinn 3 and the Sentence uh, Transformers docs. This cell then loops through them, scrapes the text content using Beautiful Soup and saves them locally. Let's run it and look at this output. It's fetching each page one by one. You can see it logs the character count for each document saved. And just like that, we have our local knowledge base. If we look in our file explorer, we now have a docs folder filled with these text files. With our uh, documents ready, we need a way to understand their meaning. That's where Embedding Gemma comes in. This next cell loads the model using the Sentence Transformer library. A quick note, you will need to accept the license on the Hugging Face model page, okay? The model is loaded. To see what it does, we've created a sample embedding for the sentence Embedding Gemma is Google's efficient embedding model. Look at the output. This sentence is now represented as a list of 256 numbers, a vector. This vector captures the semantic meaning of the text. This is the core of our search capability. Now we need a place to store these vectors. We're using Sklite Vec. This is brilliant because it's not a heavy, separate database server. It's just a simple extension to SKU-Lite, which is already built into Python. In this cell, we connect to our database file, load the Sklite Vec extension, and then create a special virtual table. The USING VEXO syntax tells SKU-Lite that this table is powered by Sklite Vec. We define our columns, the text content, the source, and importantly, an embedding column of type float 256, matching our chosen dimensions. Next, 
we need to chunk our documents. Large documents are too big to embed at once. But instead of just splitting by characters, we're using a smarter token-based approach. This function uses the exact same tokenizer as embedding Gemma to split the text. This is crucial. It prevents cutting words in half and ensures our chunks align perfectly with what the model expects, giving us much higher quality embeddings. As this runs, you can see the output. It's processing each of our seven documents and breaking them down into 28 total chunks. Now we'll insert these chunks and their corresponding embeddings into our database. This loop iterates through our chunks and uses our helper function to serialize the embedding vector into bytes, which is how Sklytevec stores it. There we go. It processes in batches and in just a few seconds, all 28 document chunks and their embeddings are stored and indexed in our database, ready for search. This is where it all comes together. First, a semantic a search function. It takes a query, embeds it using model, encode a query, and then executes a search. The where embedding match question mark clause is the magic from Sklytevec. It finds the vectors most similar to our query vector. Let's test it with how does embedding Gemma work. Instantly, we get our results. It found three relevant documents. Look at the output. It gives us the source file, the similarity, distance, lower is better, and a preview of the text. It correctly identified the hugging face blog, the Google blog, and the model page as the most relevant sources. Now for the final step, the rad query function. It takes a question, calls our search function to get the context, and then combines them into a detailed prompt for our local LM QN3. The prompt explicitly instructs the model to answer the question only using the provided context. Let's ask our first question. What makes embedding Gemma special for mobile applications? First, the search results. It correctly pulls context from the Google and Hugging Face blogs. Then, the LM generates its answer. Look at this. It's synthesizing information directly from the text we scraped. It highlights low latency, low power requirements, and the small model size. This isn't canned knowledge. It's a direct contextual answer from our private knowledge base. Let's try one more. How do I use SQLiteVec with Python? Again, the search nails it finding the Python specific docs. And the LLM generates a perfect step-by-step -step guide complete with code snippets for installation, setup, and usage, directly summarizing the documentation we provided. This is the power of a private rag stack. So what did we just build? A completely private, completely free, an incredibly powerful question answering system that runs entirely on your own machine. Every component, the embedding model, the vector database, the language model is open source and under your control, your data never leaves your laptop. This isn't just a fun project, it's a look into the future of AI development where privacy, cost, and ownership are paramount. The complete Jupyter Notebook is linked in the description below. I highly encourage you to download it, run it, and start experimenting. If you found this useful and want more practical end-to-end -end AI projects, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and happy building.